Hello there. Uh, this is pre-show. Uh, last week, uh, it was a clip show, so unless you're on patreon.com slash the bit pad, you won't know. And why aren't you? It would have been just stuff you've already seen before, but there's plenty of stuff you missed. Uh, so go check that out. Keija helped us out with Golf Story. Uh, we were talking about... I'm talking about stuff that happened last week, so if you, if you weren't aware... <coughs> no, so I watched it. What, I watched oh, it. Yeah. Well, the cheat version. <laughs> More on that afterwards. Keep, Keija helped us out with Golf Story. You can zoom out partially by pressing the right thumbstick in. Oh, that It'll took me so long. Out. I never knew I that. I think you told me. That's actually. helped me a lot, so uh, thanks. We'll talk more about Glass Story a bit later on. Uh, guitar player TJ said, wondering if Jungle will ever be a guest sometime. And he will. If we can get him, he's, he's, he's developing his game, Brief Battles, and we want to get him on to talk about that, so that'll be great. Woogie says, really enjoyed the casual little super regular news segment. Felt like a throwback to the old podcast discussion day, so it was good. Was that it? You weren't, you weren't there. <laughs> but I keep looking at you like you're Bruce, and you're not. You're just not. I was going to wear a bandana, but I don't own one because I have nice hair. <laughs> I hope Bruce is not watching this. 1222 <laughs> says Bruce has got a lot of work to get ahead of the world in the Mario Kart challenge. Um, uh, Score one for Bruce tonight. And uh, he did have yeah. his work cut out for him because I have got the gold Mario in Mario Kart 8. I was going to call it Mario Kart Infinity then, but it's not. It's oh, hard work. Kind of is. Do you play Mario Kart? Uh, badly. <laughs> So we'll see how we go. See, I'm conflicted because I was the first person to beat Bruce. Yes. And now I have to play for Bruce. For Bruce. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, I was ever going to take a dive. Wait, you beat Bruce? Oh, I, I was don't the first like my guest. odds. So I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do a show, guys. The official sponsor of the BitPad for the month of October is Blake Badcock. Just try not to grin during that. Don't look at me. Legitimate name. A massive thank you to you, Blake. We can afford sweet refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Um, and also, you're responsible for the level up on the set. So thank you very much. Oh. Look, your hard earned cash going to work. Uh, there. Uh, this is the sixth ever episode of the BitPad recorded on the 9th of October, 2017. Now the awkward bit where you both Go away. <laughs> I don't know how to do this better yet. <laughs> Hello there. On this week's show, Street Fighter 2. I played this game. Yeah. Hmm. Prove it. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, Pete. I don't actually know what that is. Uh, jiggly? Oh. It is jiggly poof. Let's play. So you're stuck on let's play for your catchphrase? Let's play. Yeah. Yeah. It works. Just want doubt in your mind because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you went with? <laughs> really? Six weeks in. <laughs> uh, you were here on the first episode, so you could have said something then. <laughs> The BitPad and welcome to it. I'm Maz and we've got a bit of a set upgrade, which is nice. Joining me on the desk this week, he plays 1-2 Switch exclusively pantless. It's Bam Brightside. That's not strictly true. No, no it is though. Well, sometimes it's topless. Oh. It depends on the game. It's, it's Gorilla's pretty... got to be topless because you're beating on your chest. Yeah. And board, what is it? Runway? Runway. Runway's got to be pantsless because you need to... You need the hips. Full flexibility of the hips. It's a progression. It's all for strategy. I've never done it fully nude. And you've never lost either. Yeah. Oh, I Is lost that true? A, I've lost a gorilla. Okay. I had a musical theatre friend and his timing was impeccable. <laughs> you wouldn't think there's a lot of overlap with musical theatre and gorillas. I would love to talk about it. But there this is. <laughs> more. But that was a lie. Uh, st standing in for Brucey this week, who has a nasty cough um, and we don't want it, so that influenza A, I think. It's on, the lung, the it's on the lung. So yeah. And I guess this week, Adelaide Nintendo Connection admin and Nintendo super fan, I assume, Pete Newen is with us. Hello. <laughs> I've got to say, I haven't actually really played 1-2 Switch. Is it really that involved where you don't wear pants? 
Is that uh, part of the rules? Uh, well, most people argue. would say no. <laughs> okay. So it's not in the manual. But most people are losers. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> most people. <laughs> What's the Facebook group all about? Okay, so Adelaide Nintendo Connection is a uh, Facebook group, obviously, that's run by myself, Brittany, and a few others. Mm -hmm. uh, we're basically just a group of Nintendo fans that like talking about the latest games, as well as sharing any kind of cool stuff that we find on the net, like YouTube channels and podcasts as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we also or do Nintendo a... Nintendo game uh, shows. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we also do like a monthly meetup that happens on the uh, second Sunday of every month, mm -hmm. where we all hang out and play Nintendo Switch games, multiplayer. That's yeah. awesome. Where does that happen? Uh, <laughs> we used to run it at the uh, David Dreams food court until they found out that it was an organised event and then they kicked us out. <laughs> oh, wow. So now we're at the Maya food court and they haven't noticed us yet. Yet. Oh, so Maya are more friendly to people yeah. well, casually it, playing games <laughs> and having fun than David Jones. Yeah, it's a bigger space, so, you know, I understand. All right, it is a great way to mingle with Nintendo, like-minded Nintendo fans, so make sure you check them out on Facebook. More on that later on in the show. Um, but now it's time for the Super Battle News. Let's test our buzzers. Well, that works. And bam. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> the Nintendo Championships housed only one announcement this year, and it was a trailer for what? Pete. Was it the ARMS update? It was the <gasps> ARMS 3.2 update. Two new things <laughs> were revealed, an achievement system called Badge Stash, and a new robotic spring fighter. It might be a skin. I don't know. Yeah, it looks kind of like an evil Ryu type thing. Doesn't it do? Yeah. It does. <laughs> do you play ARMS? Uh, a bit. Yeah. Any I've... good? Yeah, it's alright. Do you rate it? <laughs> well, I mean, are you any good? <laughs> no, I'm terrible at it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that thing where you've got to get a few stars before you can play ranked, and I can't even do that yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> I played the test fire and was terrible. Yeah. Mm. So I didn't buy it. It's supposed to be competitive, but I just didn't get my head around it. <laughs> I... The, the first test fire I played and I really enjoyed it and I did well. Mm. Like I was winning 9 out of 10 battles I guess. And then the second test fire and I sucked because everyone got good. And I was like, <laughs> oh well, that's me done. I couldn't get my head around the controls really. I don't, I was just slow. I think oh. I was fully trying to swing. You can do non-motion controls. Yeah. But then it defeats oh. the purpose of playing But then the I didn't want to yeah. play it, like, yeah. I would just play Smash Bros. <laughs> totally. yeah. Golf Story's world map holds a bit of a special secret. What is it? Australia. <laughs> it is Australia. The game is not only made in Australia and contains a stack of Aussie slang, but later in the game the world map zooms out to reveal that the whole game is that was real in Australia. Oh, you sent me that. I thought it was fan art. No. Yeah, the, the map actually looked kind of small. Is that the entire map? That is the entire oh, map. Okay. There's about, about seven worlds though, seven courses. Oh, I good. haven't actually noticed that they've used like slang that I've understood. And I was like, oh, that's more universal than I thought. <laughs> this is the thing, I didn't, I haven't noticed any Australian slang, but obviously it's because it's normal <laughs> it's just for me. normal language, so, right? <laughs> can you think of one that they said? Not off the top of my No, head. not can I. Splatoon revealed the next Splatfest. What will teams be fighting for? Bam. Uh, wait, fighting for? Or what are the teams? Yeah, what are the teams? Uh, vampires versus werewolves. That is correct. Why isn't it toilet paper? Which way does it go? Like, seriously. Europe, <laughs> Europe might be battling it out over which way to hang your toilet roll, but this weekend we will be settling far more Halloween-y issues. So it's over the front or wrong? Pretty much. <laughs> Correct. Ah, we're in good company. We are in good company. There's a fucking... Alright, just, just for the internet. There's a fucking piece of shit at work, where I work, who puts the thing on backwards, and there's only three dudes that work in there, and one of them only works there twice a week, so I'm getting really close to figuring out who the piece of shit is. Maybe he's, he's probably a no voter she's... and a Trump supporter. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and a Nazi. Uh, <laughs> loves PewDiePie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly just blow my nose a little bit. Oh, great. You put that in the Patreon in a bit. <laughs> and the Patreon saw all of it. That's what they pay for, mate. They pay for all of it. <laughs> for the bodily functions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a wedgie. <laughs> TV is not all glamour. Oh, now I made it funny, it's definitely going to be It's there. not any glamour. <laughs> <laughs> and now, sadly, it's just a month until Miiverse shuts down. What is Nintendo doing to send it off? <laughs> they're doing a unique, like, goodbye forum or something? They are. They're yeah. doing a special, the Everybody's Message Community channel. Uh, we'll let people draw pics and leave a farewell to the Miiverse forever. And they're going to create a big collage of your paintings as well oh. uh, later on. So Where will that go? All the fields. Oh, I imagine it'll 
I'm guessing it'll have to be family friendly pictures because Miiverse is a horrible, yeah, horrible place. Yeah, did I, did I ever tell you I got banned <laughs> from Miiverse? What did you do? I Can drew a lot of it? mushrooms. Okay. That yeah. looked like <laughs> penises. I, I got or warned. penises that looked like mushrooms. I, got, I did so much know. that I got banned for months. <laughs> I got warned once because I drew Yoshi uh, and an egg coming out of his butt. And like, there might have been a bit too much detail on his anus, but still, that's what he does. That's what he does, yeah. Nintendo. You can't lie about it, right? He shits eggs out. <laughs> it's a horrible truth. <laughs> anyway. I got and lots of warnings. Did anybody, then, did anybody use Miiverse? Yeah, I did. Oh. Quite regularly. Yeah. Well, that really Almost is. exclusively to draw dicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of the battle news this week. Now it's time to play Hidden Roster Spotter. Thank you for that, Ben. That was great. Trying to immerse Pete in the mm. magic that he's missing. Yeah, I know. I'm, it's, it's, just, just not, it's just not the same getting more and more disappointed <laughs> yeah. every second that passes. First to buzz in gets first crack at filling in the character sheet that I've taken the roster from. This week, I've hidden the playable roster of characters from Street Fighter 2. <laughs> the World Warrior. Bear wants to go first. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ryu. Just, just to get you started, there's a couple of hints there on screen. Ryu is correct. Pete, over to you. Uh, get fair and go Ken. All right, I'll go. I'll Ken. go one I don't know. <laughs> oh damn it! <laughs> you, you just fucked yourself. <laughs> I Ken, played what myself. What do you want from me? Ken is correct. I played this game. Yeah. Hmm. Prove it. <laughs> uh, Blanca, Bianca, Blanca. Bianca? Bianca. Yeah. You sound like someone who's just Wikipedia. <laughs> She's a well, girl, right? Bianca. Well, like uh, when, Blanca. Um, when Brucey said Animal. Lenore, I knew what uh, was going on then. <laughs> sorry. Blanca, Bianca. She's a girl, right? She's that beast with the, yeah. the electric <laughs> hair. I know a girl named Bianca. She refused to be called Bianca. I'll give you Blanca, although that was... Yeah, it's, it's Blanca. It's sketchy that you weren't cheating now, but that's fine. All right, I'll have Pete? to go with family man Guile. Guile, correct. What? He's that guy with the, he's like surfy. Okay, like, cool. You can see it at home. True American. Yeah, I knew that one too. Uh, stretchy man Dao Sin. Yes. I remember. The 90s were fun. Just on uh, Dao Sin, I liked him because you didn't have to get close to people to hit them. Yeah. I... Whittle away <laughs> at their neck. <laughs> that was my move. Duck and then yep. the double fist. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> uh, e Honda. E Honda oh, is correct. He's the big one. I knew that dude. one. Damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, M Bison. M Bison. He's the main bad guy, isn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is he not? That's true. Story wise. Uh, Balrog. Balrog. Could you go? He is a special character, isn't he? Yeah, one of which, the bosses. Which yeah. one was he? The boxer. Okay. Basically, Brilliant. Mike Tyson. Because I don't yeah. know this next guy's name, so I want to make sure it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dial V for Vendetta. Guy Fawkes Wolverine. Yes, what? Vega is is correct. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Dial V for Wolverine. <laughs> I've lost track. Uh, or Sagat? Have we done that one? Sagat is there. Oh, Bob, Bob yeah. Saget. I'm just remembering all of these characters exist as you say them. It's great. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a girl. There's definitely a girl. There's only so... two more left on our list. Chun Li. Oh. Chun Li is the girl. Literally the only girl in the game. Oh, oh wow, well, really? Equal opportunities. I mean, that's come on terrible. now. That's the that's what we you call in the industry a token. <laughs> <laughs> they doubled the number of girls in Super though, to two. <laughs> <laughs> uh... And the final one. Oh. Um... The Russian guy, uh, Zangief. Zangief is yes. correct! <laughs> oh, wow. You ripper. There they are. Uh, They're all there. Awesome Thanks game. for picking all the ones I didn't remember. <laughs> You're welcome. They got us through equally. And after that, bam, seven points. <laughs> Pete, enough. just a nine points! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Mm, fucking hell. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, quick question. Are we Do we have yes, to keep language clean? Oh, we can't can swear. Okay, I wasn't I, sure. I'll fix that in post. Ah, oh, so you I mean usually put a like a, a a noise. Like okay. A, what's the? I put I put a noise over it. It's fine. You say what you like. Okay. Say what you feel. All right. From the heart. Um, if you want to see more of the show, uh, fucking hell. But don't say the N word because <laughs> yeah. then uh, we you won't be able to play uh, Firestorm or whatever it is on <laughs> stream anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was the game? Oh yeah. Firewatch. Yeah. Firewatch. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more of the show and all the bits that go on in the ad break 
juicy, juicy bits, check us out on patreon.com slash the bitpad. In the meantime, we'll see you right after this. Actually, quick question. How much is it to be a pat- patron? A dollar will give you a month's access to all of the... A dollar? Well, yeah. funny you should ask that, Pete. Uh, a dollar will give you full access to a whole month's worth of the delu- what we're calling the deluxe show, which is okay. an hour long, almost an hour long. Um, but there are perks for higher... Okay, what sort of perks? Monetary value. What sort what of sort perks? What sort of perks do you speak of? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know, to be honest. Right. They're mainly sponsorship things, so like when I read your name out and... Okay. Uh, so hang on, so you get a special mention in the episode? Yes. So if I gave you a dollar now, <clears throat> you would, would you get say... Nothing. You would I, get don't get, I don't get anything yet. We're going to mention your name thing. very many times, so <laughs> I think you're okay. Well, if I was... But they're not special, perk, I guess, because there's lots of them. Would you be able to introduce the next segment in rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to, I'm a patron. <laughs> I'll if give you, you pay, the dollar right now. I'm going to add a new tier. It'll be an expensive tier. Uh, so a dollar gets you the deluxe thing. Five bucks gets you something else. Here's a dollar. Okay, thanks. thanks. <laughs> a special mention to Pete. Yeah, newest Patreon. Welcome to the team, Pete. What rhyme bullshit do you have for us today? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sponsorship, uh, names in your credits. Um, there's other perks for like uh, Discord. Jumping on a Discord channel oh, okay. when, we, when we start streaming and stuff. You I'm going to sound really old, but I don't actually know how Discord works. Yep. Is it just a chat room? It's basically yeah, it's a like chat MSN, room but you, you have jump voice in channels and out of. as well. Ah, okay. So the voice channel is like a chat room too. You don't have to dial anyone up or, yeah. or that kind of thing. It's pretty mm-hmm. pretty sweet. Um, yes, welcome to the ads. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next segment? Um, all the people who saw that, by the way, already know what they get because ah. they're. <laughs> 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 um, what have we been playing? Pete? Uh, I didn't run. Playing... Didn't yeah, run. Oh. I'm disappointed. Hang on. What have you been playing? Because I've got a I saying. See. It's called what you've been playing. Amazing. <laughs> see, end. folks, that was Fucking worth it. Hell. You, <laughs> you try under pressure. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard work getting money from people to do things. <laughs> He's not paying enough for me to care enough. That, that's the problem. <laughs> What have you been playing? Uh, I've Sonic. got one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go on. What have you been playing? What's your latest game? I've got a saying. Don't make your game lame. Oh! <laughs> that was worth a dollar. Possibly definitely. Possibly <laughs> towards the end, but more worth it in the end. Give us right. another dollar, I'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep throwing money until I like it. <laughs> Give me two dollars and I'll go like this. <laughs> and you just put balls straight in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, it's that kind Not of... Not you, it doesn't count for you. <laughs> for more prizes. The prize is putting balls in your mouth. <laughs> You're fine. Well, I am a cheap bitch. That's why my deluxe episode isn't even behind the paywall. You can yeah, just watch it for free. That's true. Oh. Do it. It's Again, they already know this. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't... <laughs> true. <laughs> true. <laughs> Pete Newen, what have you been playing? Uh, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania! But I'm really struggling with it because... I'm ashamed to admit, but this is actually the first 2D Sonic I've played. The first Sonic game I ever played was actually Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. Okay, so oh, here... So all I'm, the bad ones. You played oh, yeah, the bad ones. Yeah, yeah, really the good ones. I, mean, I went from that to Sonic Heroes to Sonic... Was it 2006? <laughs> so, so Sonic Mania is basically what we wanted Sonic 4 to be. Mm. And they're the best Sonics. But the best Sonics are still also awful. How are you finding it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm struggling with the controls, to be honest. Yeah. Like, you know, with, with I guess, oh, I don't mean to plug it, but with Mario, obviously the controls are a little bit tighter and that sort of thing. Whereas Sonic, you've got a weird acceleration going. So if you're running up a hill and you jump, you jump backwards. backwards. And I really struggle with that. <laughs> That's odd, yeah. Sonic was never fun when you weren't at speed. Yeah. Um, full stop, that's it. That's, just, <laughs> that's the also, review. <laughs> you can move that full stop further forward in the sentence. Sonic was never fun. What about Sonic uh, and Knuckles and all that? You hear yeah, no, I, I played Sonic and Knuckles and I liked it, but like when you go back and play it, you're like, this is awful. You go back and play Mario 3, Mario 2, Mario 1. Yeah. They are great. Mm. Because, like I you don't said, know. The, the Sometimes I'll play Mario 3 and be like, this is awful. It's but kind why? of frustratingly hard. Some jumps you just don't mm. land and you're just like, oh, this is so unforgiving. 
I've not gone back and played Sonic, so I, I wouldn't know. Give it a crack. Oh, and the underwater stages in Sonic where you have a time limit? Yeah. Or the one where you start underwater already? <laughs> I just got up to that one. What I haven't that? played Sonic know. in 20 years and just oh. that music gave me a panic attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how bad it was. Yeah. Been. That's, You've been abused as a child. It's like far out. And Sonic's face is what <laughs> Ben's looks like. <laughs> yeah, nasty. So, would you rate it? Yeah, I'd say it's a good game. I think if I just played it a bit more and got better, yeah. it'd probably be really fun. Get good. Sometimes yeah, pretty much. Get good, don't you? That's everyone's argument for. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Game Gotta design. get good. <laughs> Wait, so have you guys actually played Sonic Adventure? No. Oh, uh, okay. Because one of my guilty pleasures is the the vocal theme songs that they play in that. They're oh, no. absolutely terrible. Okay, you should play it right now so yeah. everyone can hear it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll yeah. Google that. Um, <laughs> you can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I rather flex my muscles. Hard as nails, it ain't hard to tell. I break them down whether they solid or frail. And while we're on that little break, while I'm googling that to put in and killing myself tomorrow afternoon, um, is it as good as the DK rap? Is it as good as the worse, DK rap? Probably. <laughs> yeah, because I actually think they're cool. <laughs> I'm download both of those. I hear Ukulele had a rap too. You a lizard and a bat. What's up with that? Yeah, and I just think that's bullshit. Uh, Pandarin. Bam, you've been playing Golf Story. Yes, I'm addicted. I got so into last week, but mm -hmm. now I'm not. <laughs> um, tell us your experience. What's been going on? Ah, uh, Golf Story's good. So you abandoned it for Stardew, right? If I'm not mistaken. And I'm also tentative because. Everyone I know is having errors, including you. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, if I keep playing it, I'm going to get a game-breaking bug, and then I'm going to have to start again, and that's not a thing I'm willing to do. Speaking I did bugs, sorry. That, that one where you shrink into a tiny little person? Yes, that's, that's hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. I would like to see that. But you could start again if that happens to you. If I could keep playing like that, I yeah. would better ride. Like, maybe it's part of the story, maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, none, of my, my, none of mine have been game-breaking. A couple have had to restart. The game itself just close the software and start it, which is kind of so annoying. you lose a little bit of save. Ah, uh, yeah, like two sentences of dialogue of progress, but that's right. it. Oh, that's fine. No, it's not. It's not annoyed me at all. Um, hey, you stopped it for Stardew, which I would have if I hadn't already played. Yeah, so hundred hours of Stardew Valley. I've never played Stardew Valley before in my life. Golf Story. It's it's simple without being super easy, and I yeah. love how it's not. It's a bit witty. It's not repetitive no. as well. Mm -hmm. So Pokemon games, like it's a comparison I've been drawing is sometimes you are just sick of mashing tackle. Yeah. Whereas Golf Story, they mix up the golf just enough with challenges that are different. Yeah. Like the Frisbee golf. <laughs> Wait, what? And, then... <laughs> and they introduced that really early too. It's like, yeah. hey, it's not just going to be NES golf, but with... So it'll, hang on, explain to me what frisbee golf is. Do you play with a frisbee instead of a golf yeah, ball? Yeah, Wait, yeah. You what? throw a frisbee and, and you direct it and it goes into a basket. Oh, so you're not wagging it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, that doesn't actually make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think they've done a really good job of keeping it fresh, keeping it simple and easy to learn, but keeping it challenging enough that you've got to do a few things over and over. Yeah. And yeah, the, some of the dialogue is hilarious. Mm. Like I've had my partner come in and go, what? Are uh, you giggling at? I was like, this game's funny. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's just funny. It's sometimes ludicrous and it's sometimes just dry and yeah. it's just funny. Like, it was really well written, well put together. Now, you're further in than me, judging by the, the video you sent me this morning of you, Stark. Mm -hmm. um, I was stuck behind a rock. I don't know how I got there, but I couldn't, so <laughs> couldn't get back out. You're beyond, rock and water. you're beyond the undead army skeleton. Yeah. Mini thing. <laughs> Has anything weird like that ever cropped up again? Uh, well, funny you should say that because the rock I was stuck behind was in the spooky zone. Spooky zone. Where you re meet those skeleton oh, people. Perfect. And I was wondering if that they was like require you thing. to put actual eyeballs. You know, they're hunting eyeballs. Yeah. And so you got to hit eyeballs as golf balls into the skeleton's head. Okay, great. And that's hilarious in itself because you hit it and it goes, it's got like sockets, like a general skeleton, and it goes, <laughs> and it's just overly large. <laughs> uh, I giggled a lot. Yeah, it's great fun. Uh, but yeah, like you said, I picked up Stardew Valley and I wasn't going to. Because I was like, <laughs> I'll get it later. Because I want to finish Golf Story. Then Odyssey is going to happen all over me. Mm. Yeah. Then I'll do Stardew Valley when multiplayer is a thing. 
then my sister who's been on the show before was like I just played Stardew Valley for five and a half hours and I went I'm getting it <laughs> and I got it and I played it for an hour, an hour before I had to go somewhere and I'm like oh shit oh shit yeah it is Minecraft in 2D with Farmville it is and no microtransactions I'm in it is so much worse than Minecraft and its addictiveness. Oh, shit. In that each day is just long enough to do 80% of what you want to achieve <laughs> yeah. in that day. But then every time and it resets, to to and then you've got enough time to do 80% of what you want to do. And so you'd think having days would be a stopping power that like a lot of games don't it's have. Not. It's, that, it's not. It's the complete it opposite. Re- it it's resets always one more game. day, right? Mm. One more day. Yeah. So... <laughs> I found that. I only played one day cycle, two day cycles. And I was like, oh, I have a stamina bar. <clears throat> and then I was really annoyed. <laughs> and then I just got straight. I was, oh, you just go to bed and then you get back to it. And yeah, I can see how that's kind of like, I just want to achieve these things. And that gets in the way and resets you. So you achieve it, but then you want to fill the rest of the day and you get started on another mm-hmm. task. And then you just do this. It should be a Facebook game. Because <laughs> they could monetize that shit. But is Have it stressful to play? No, I've never played it. Well, I haven't played it enough to, to, to know whether it's tedious or stressful, but you put a, over 100 hours oh, in. So many hours. Although a lot of them are paused because I was like, I'm going to finish this day, but I need to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, thi- the thing about me and my partner is I came from Rocket League to the Stardew Valley. So I came from going one more match to one more day. <laughs> And he's like, no, we have to leave now. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can pause this and just leave it over my Steam. So my Steam yeah. counter says about 400 hours, but that's not that's very not true. Because <laughs> I just leave it there. Yeah. But it has been a long time. Hmm. It's good. So I, I'd recommend it if you're into anything like Minecraft or Farmville or Animal Crossing or that kind of thing. It I don't is. recommend it if you're into social, social interaction, yeah, yeah, yeah. sleep, yeah. eating and relationships. See, I'm going to play it with my partner. Because that we we were watched we were playing it together like oh yeah. just get rid of those trees and then let's let's plant the parsnips there, so I think like I can do that and then multi when multiplayer rolls around, that'd be a great way, as an excuse. I hope your partner's bored of it bored of it by then because that's when I'm going to pick it up and play with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Well, uh, you've been playing anything else? This this section's long enough. Oh, okay. Uh, I've been playing this other weird game called Kingdom New Lands. Have you heard of that one? No. It was like an indie game that popped up on the Switch. Okay. I've never heard of it before. Right. And you've only you're basically a king that rides on a horse, and you you obviously your kingdom's been destroyed, and you've got to rebuild it. But you've only got one button, which is give money. So you don't actually <laughs> control anything. I've heard about that. It's. They don't tell you what to do in the entire game, so I kind of just spent it throwing money at, I guess, I assume homeless people who then build my kingdom, but then the trolls come and they kill everyone and I can't figure out what to do next. <laughs> You've got to pay the right people. Yeah, I think so. Well, that that's amazing. Exciting. Yeah, it it's pretty fun though. What a cool concept. Mm. Give money. <laughs> yeah, give money. <laughs> it's just training you to start and there'll be like a different button and yeah. you can give them actual money and then they will just like unlock parts of the game for you. It's <laughs> yeah. basically what's going Type on there. your credit card number. Absolutely. <laughs> give us money now. The villagers clearly keep dying from trolls. So yeah. give us money and we'll take the trolls out of the game for you. Yeah, <laughs> what a great concept. Uh, let's get back to the show. The bit pad. Welcome back to it. I'm still loving the SNES Mini to death. It's right here. I've got it. it smells so good. Just, you into that? It smells like plastic. Yeah, you into that. You into the smell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what you want. Take a good inhale, guys. I have to admit, I love the smell when you unbox it for the first time. Oh my god. That new plastic smell. It smells exactly like... It just smells like a SNES, but smaller. But that's the point. It's got a smaller smell. <laughs> <laughs> it has a smaller smell. So our first game is Nin Top Tendo. The Super Nintendo is the seventh best-selling home console in history. Our top 10 list is ready. More points for higher on the list. And we are looking for the top 10 best-selling SNES games. Buzz to go first. (sighs) Super Mario All-Stars. Super Mario All-Stars is number two on the list. Nine points to bam. Which is what Sonic Mania is 20 years later, isn't it? Yeah, totally. It's just a bit late, isn't it? No, actually, the GameCube had a... No, no, you're right. <laughs> Pete. Uh, Super Mario World? Super Mario World is number one. Yeah. Ten <sighs> points to you. Oh. Wait, do I really get ten points? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. It's like Family Feud. It's, it's like, like Family Feud. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> Trademark. Registered. Super... Because they all start with Super. Super mm. Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart number four on the list. Seven point. Point. Super Metroid? You are not what? correct. Oh, okay. Super Metroid not making the top ten. Could you believe it? That's Circle right. chance to steal. <laughs> uh, Donkey Kong Country? Donkey Kong Country is number three. Eight points. On Pete is getting a bit of a lead uh, here. <laughs> Yoshi's Island? Yoshi's Island is on the list. Number eight. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Link to the Past? Link to the Past is four points for you. <laughs> number five, six, nine and ten left on the board. Uh, did Secret of Mana make it? Secret of Mana did not make what? it. We are not interested. <laughs> Isn't that absurd? Um, RPGs, like all the games are like on there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say maybe Kirby Dream World? No. Let's think sequels. Oh. To things that are already on the list. Donkey Kong Country 2. Donkey Kong Country 2 is worth five points. Donkey Kong Country 3? It's worth one point. <laughs> <laughs> Snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the show, we did a thing. Did we? <laughs> we did. That's, that's the first hint. Oh! <gasps> Wow! No what was it? <laughs> Street Fighter 2? Oh god! Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Oh. But the other one left on the board is... Street Fighter 2 World Warrior! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, give me the that. No. And there it is, that's our top 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I feel god. like you're caught up there. <sighs> it's so good. Star Fox 2 will fuck your eyes though. It's, it's not healthy. Have you licked a, a Switch cartridge yet? I lick every one I buy. <laughs> just to make sure they're still doing it. And they always are, and I always regret I licked it. my first one on the weekend. Sometimes. This doesn't taste terrible. No, no, it should. I don't think there's any risk of putting that in your mouth, though. It should. It should be awful. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to try really hard. Oh, God. You're not choking on that. Oh, no, he is. He actually is. Uh, no, the Switch cartridges, my I... My jaw hurts. I... Every time I buy one, I do put it in my mouth, just because I do. And Would you complain some, if it didn't taste bad? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and sometimes, like when I'm like, got my bag and stuff, I'll take a cartridge out, put it in my mouth, and then put the other one, but just in my lips, so I won't taste it. Yeah. And then I'll put it away, and then later on I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> it's great, very That effective. makes sense, I hold things in my mouth. Do you it's think, super effective. Do you think it's like a warhead where if you lick it enough, the bad taste goes away and then it's like strawberries underneath? Uh, maybe. We should try it. <laughs> <laughs> During the next segment. It's like never ending gobstopper on, yeah. <laughs> on arms. Gross. Very. <laughs> <laughs> well now it's time to fill in the blanks with Missing Link. The object is to name what has been removed and Nintendo lives putting the name of the console that the game is on in the game title just so we're completely clear what it's for. One, two, what? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, it's funny when you're looking for game music or emulators or whatever, scrolling through the list of Super Nintendo games and you go A to R thinking they just didn't release any games. Yeah. And then you get to S. Super. Like, oh, super, 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 super. Yeah, yeah. Um, buzz in if you know these Wii titles from their inspired cover art. Your first one. Yeah. Bam. Wii Sports. That is Wii Sports. The highest selling game of all time. Is it because it came free with the Wii? <coughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's a coughs> a, More or less. It's a bit of a doesn't count situation, mm -hmm. isn't it? Uh, next one. Yeah. Oh, bam, you're so oh, quick. Wii Fit. It is Wii Fit. The highest selling... <laughs> Yoga related <laughs> accessory of all time. <laughs> not not even not even false. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a question or a new graphic. So it's we fit. It is we fit. It's still we fit. Yeah. The highest selling. Put the controller <laughs> in your pocket and run on the spot. Simulator of all time. <laughs> what other we fit facts have you got? Buzz in first, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> The highest selling make you feel really bad about how fat you are simulator of all time. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Pete, buzz in quickly. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ben's guessing after the fact. Uh, Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Pete. I don't actually know what that is. Yeah, you do. Do I? 
it's not to be sold separately, I know that Wait, much. I own this one and I don't know what it's called. I don't know, but the graphics are terrible. <laughs> Aren't they? <laughs> don't they look drawn in paint? I've honestly never seen this before. By someone who's good at paint, but still drawing in paint. That's <laughs> <laughs> We Play. Uh, what? Is that I the original cover that art? That is the original cover art. Yeah. I recreated <laughs> it in Mario Paint, actually. Oh. <laughs> it's a great idea for a game, guys. <laughs> oh, we did it last week. That's fine. Next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wii Music. It is Wii Music. What a great game that was. Who... How many hours did you put into that? None. Yeah. That's more than everyone. <laughs> that existed? Didn't they come with peripherals <laughs> for the... I like, I like that meme <laughs> of that guy <laughs> playing <laughs> the drums. That, was, yeah. that got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> what a fuck. I, I bought that game very excited did about you? it. Did you? And it was bullshit. Did you like Donkey Konga? Oh, Donkey <laughs> Konga. Whew. So good. Next. Uh, we Sports Resort. Is correct. Look at that porthole. What did that represent? <laughs> if I had a dollar every time I heard that. <laughs> you could squat more, like pelvic floor. Or something, <laughs> you got to loose. Something's loose. Wah! Bam. Oh, that's like Wii Sports Party Pack. That is not what it's called. <sighs> Heat for the Steel. It is the one that they released that you could buy individual <coughs> sports online. It's not. You could greatest. buy a pass to it. Or it's not just called Wii Sports, this. is it? It's not. It is Wii Sports. <laughs> club. Uh... Everybody in the club. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. Bam! Uh, we love to party. We, 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 love, we love to party. party. We party. Oh. Was that an actual guess? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Mixed with the Venga Boys song, but <laughs> <Sorry>. yeah. <laughs> what a great game. Said nobody ever, I think, I assume. I didn't get it. I don't think it was great. Wii Sports was all I needed for bad bowling simulators. It, it had a bit of Mario Party thing going on that was like, are you going to release a Mario Party though, guys? And then they <laughs> like, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Next. Wah! Bam. We fit two. I we can't fit accept yoga. that for the steel. I have no idea. How do you guys know these ones? <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy all the bad ones? <laughs> I had all of these games. This is true. That's we fit. Plus. <sighs> What's the dog doing it? I don't ah, you put a dog in the scale and then it gives you a fat dog me. Yeah. <laughs> Make your dog feel bad about its body image. <laughs> That's not a lie either, that is actually true. Wait, I you actually know if anyone dog. stood on a Wii Fit board I did. and had the me not plump out. Oh, no, I did. Because everyone I know that got Wii Fit plumped out. It went, here's your right. me. <laughs> and then the music. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> it was like the perfect way. It's like if you log in every day, then you, you own these points. Fat. And then it reminded you when you played other Wii games. Log in to Wii Fit. So it's just Wii Shame, really. Yeah, <laughs> Wii Shame Plus. Wii Shame Plus. <laughs> Next. Yeah, come on, you can guess this. Wii Yoga. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell, at the top of this, I was like, you got to say uh, the console is on. Give you one more shot, Pete. Wii U. Bam. We fit you. We fit you. <laughs> we fit you <laughs> like a glove. We fit you into our plump me's. <laughs> that came with a pedometer. <coughs> Sorry, we fit meter. The fit meter. The fit meter you. Fit you to me. Fit you to me. <laughs> You've always wanted to be fit and you never got fit playing that game. Yeah, we've, we've had this one before. You notice the pink Wii U starburst. party back. Wii U party. Come on. Wii U party. No. Wii U party two. No, party have one. you seen the number two once yet? <laughs> we've had three Wii fits. Not one of them has a number. <laughs> That's Wii party you guys. Ah, uh, what did I say? Wii, Wii U fit party. party Wii U party. <laughs> Wii U party. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever indeed. Whatever. Uh, last one. Pete. Chess, I hope. You hoped correctly. Oh, yes. I go on. I had to Google to make sure that that was a real game, Game Master Kirsty. Yeah, it doesn't look like very. Um, it looks very inspired photo. cover art. It looks photoshopped, doesn't it? That went straight to the nursing homes. That one. Target got that and put it straight in the bargain bin. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! I was gonna say we did it. We <laughs> we did it. We did it. We made it to the end of that great game. You know me by now. Uh, you know I really love a good ogle at the intimate parts of various things. It's time to play. Hide your shocks. <laughs> Amiibo Anatomy. 
Magnifying glass is out. Buzz in if you can identify the character amiibo that is being perved on here. Oh yeah, it's getting hard, guys. Who? Is that Little Mac? It is not Little Mac for the steel bam. Um, is it a Pikmin one? Nah, it's Luigi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Show me the close-up of that shoulder again. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. you're flipping the... Uh, uh is that Zero Robot Suit Samus? It is not Zero Suit Samus. You could have got an easy one there. Pikmin <laughs> Steel. Regular Samus. It is regular Oh, Samus. you gave it to him. You <laughs> terrible him. host. Gave it to him. Next. Someone looks, like to, someone looks like they're about to go out and sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, got a, I got a call it when you're looking at the shelving. It's hooded link. Yeah, I, uh, I would hooded ride, a, ride yeah. a link. Nah. Nah. <laughs> well, I hope they get easier. Yeah. Bam. Uh, King DDD. It is not King DDD. Oh, King DDD, what part of King DDD is pink, <laughs> yeah, by the way? I don't know, I thought maybe his gloves <laughs> or his hat. King DDD with his dick out, maybe, but we'll never know. Because Nintendo won't make a game like that. I know which one it is now. <laughs> uh, Jiggly? Oh. It is Jiggly Poof! Well done. I wanted to say I thought it was a trick. It wasn't a trick, I'm not tricking anyone. Yeah, but that lamb thing now looks like it as well. She's got a pink puff on her head. No idea what you're on about. Who's this? <laughs> the Animal Crossing pink lamb thing? It is not. Oh, God damn it. Reese is the Animal Crossing you're thinking. <laughs> it's not Reese. It's Kirby. It is Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> and another one. Pete. Is that Kirby again? It is not Kirby <laughs> for the steel. Jigglypuff. No. I mean, you're, you're literally a dildo. It's Reese! Oh! <laughs> it hurt you so much! That was beautiful. You I were loved, tricking us! I loved watching that unfold. You beautiful. were tricking us! Great. Right. All my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Bam! It's a guardian. It is not a guardian. Oh my god. Pete for the steel. It's that. Chibi Robo, is it? It is not Chibi Robo. You're like, uh, 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 you're gonna kill yourself. Oh. Look at that, it's Rob. Look at him. He's the he best. picked the most unnoteworthy part of Rob. Oh, it's right in front of both of us. <laughs> it's, it's, there's, there's a little there's corner a giant one here. <laughs> oh, you guys. I hate this game. <laughs> Bam, don't say what I think you're gonna say. It's a uh, link with the Gora mask. Come on. I'm not gonna lie. Was, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping you were gonna say. Darunia? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not like, Darunia the Guardian. Yeah, What's his name? Your, your, your I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his name is. Next. The hell? Wait, is that two amiibos? Are you cheating? Is that the new... Uh, uh, the new Peach nah. in the suit? Nah. Good guess though. Peach doesn't have ears like that though. There's the hint. That's an ear? An For ear. the steel. What? It's Callie's <laughs> little... Stay fresh! Stay fresh. <laughs> I was like, what part of that is an ear? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a hand what? holding a sh yeah, flesh-coloured <laughs> shovel. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's I would have still would've... think about the connotations of a flesh shovel. I would have accepted that, by the way. Oh. Next. The final one. That's a, That's a new amiibo, one. by the way. Well, that narrows it down. Oh, guys, it's a little Koopa Troopa's oh. big old eyeball! Koopa <laughs> Troopa? That's correct. You don't get the points. <laughs> well, the points just keep rolling in, expecting me to do something about them, and <laughs> I'll deal with them right after this break. Bye bye! You can relax. Yes. Guys, you did <coughs> majoritably awful at <laughs> yes. Did not expect that. Yeah, well, we had three that were the same part of three different amiibos. So fun, so much fun! <laughs> I tried to. I thought you were like double bamboozling, and I was going to go with something completely different that weren't those three. So I went with DDD. Let me see DDD. What does it look like? Well, Where is he? He's a penguin. He'll be over here. There he is. He's blue and yellow mm, and yeah. orange. There is no pink on that. Not I don't know why I thought maybe his gloves were pink or his maybe. top knot was pink. Good times. Uh, Facebook.com slash the bitpad. I forgot to get mail back questions. So we won't do that this week. No. Um, I apologize. Um, the Adelaide Nintendo Connection. Let's talk about that. It's awesome. It's, uh, if you live in Adelaide and you're seeing this in Adelaide, you should jump on board because it's a great way to just keep in touch and chat about things. And we're all like, Whoa. 
we all love the same stuff. <laughs> Pete, mm-hmm. talk us through what your role is. Okay. So, I mean, the community pretty much runs itself, really. Everyone's sharing cool content that they find. And, mm-hmm. you know, everyone gets super hyped whenever we do the Nintendo Directs and stuff like that. I'm just there to make sure that everyone stays friendly, I guess, mm-hmm. and follows the rules. And, yeah. And it is a really kind of chill environment. Yeah. Everyone's kind of really friendly to each other and supportive and passionate. That's what you get. Mm. You, have a, you have a few, like... Um, really consistent members as well that kind of yeah that's true run yeah. it without running it which is which is awesome yeah shout out to paulie yeah he's, super <laughs> he's all over it. it he's all he's over an it. excitable yeah. little man because i gotta say the group did get a little bit quiet for a while and then paulie kind of appeared and he kind of got the hype going again <laughs> you need you need someone curating content from the internet and posting mm. it there otherwise it, it's like oh. i like every time there's a major release and he'll literally buy everything and he'll take a home and take a photo. It's like, how are you funding this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to be that guy, but no. <laughs> Those rabbits weren't cheap, I don't think. And he no. bought all of them. The big ones? Yeah. They're like 150 bucks each. <laughs> yeah, I saw Eric had all of those as yeah. well. Yeah. Nintendo by numbers. That game is not good enough. But you loved it. So I, I loved it. I loved it. I 100%ed it. <laughs> nice. Counter. It was... Wait, how far did you get? <coughs> Me? Yeah. World... Two and a bit, what? maybe three. I don't know. No, I, it's so that. hard to tell where you are in that game because it's so not clear. <laughs> I have, I've promised I wouldn't talk about it ever again, so I'm not <laughs> going to talk about it anymore. Uh, but no, it lost me sadly because it looks yeah. great. It was great. It just yeah, it wasn't really fun was. enough for me. It was great. The only tedious bits was going through and finding the chests. Yeah, when I you have to backtrack through it again. Yeah, I didn't even do that. I think that's probably what turned me off, knowing that it's putting stuff that I have to go back for later. You don't know how to do that yet. I'm like, yeah. it's a block. It's a block. <laughs> I know yeah, that but, I know but, that I'm a Roomba, but Mario's behind me. Let him push it. But the thing is, they leave them there so you do go back, and then each world has 10 new challenges. Mm. And the challenges are more fun than the actual levels. Mm. Well, that's, so the second run through... That's a flawed... Well, no, it's the, the latter part of the game is more fun than the earlier part of the game. Yeah. It's you like said Destiny. about a lot of games. Destiny's great when you finish the game. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, find <laughs> the Adelaide Nintendo Connection on Facebook. Please do. It's great. We can talk about more things now because I was supposed to do mailbag, but I didn't do it. No, what can we talk about? We can just scroll through the internet and read comments on your... <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah. I don't, oh no, the questions are over there. No, it's fine. I'll just have less to edit this week. That'll be great. Um, cool. Let's get back to the show. It's the bit pad. Welcome back to it. And our engines have been revving up with excitement <laughs> for Bruce versus the world. This week, Brucey has called in a sickie, so bam, you are playing on behalf of Bruce. Just want to know, strategy-wise, you played for the world in the first episode, you're playing for Bruce now, are you going to throw this game or what? I don't... I don't think so. That sounds like a man who, if he loses, will say he threw it. (laughs) (laughs) Curses! Uh, My evil plot! (laughs) Pete, are you much of a carter? Not really, to be honest. Well, you probably... (laughs) We're playing on the Excite Bike Arena. Bam is playing as Wario. Let's go, Brucey. Pete, you are Bowser. Both heavy sets. I have no muscle memory with like the loose Joy Cons either. Loose Joy Cons. <laughs> just to hold your hands. Do you want me to gap your hands together? It's more just the button allocation, I think, where they are in. Uh, you usually play reference on a to my Pro controller, right? Thumbs. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't played Mario Kart much on the Switch. To be honest. But it's so beautiful, why wouldn't you? Alright, I think I got it. Third All place. I need is um, item, power slide and accelerate, really. That's right. And I located those buttons, so I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, talk, doing us, right. talk us through your process at length. I was just like thinking, because they were saying like... Mud puddles! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Gotcha! Oh, Bombs so away, <laughs> Mother right. Peter! you both been squidded. Oh no! That doesn't matter. Now everyone is it doesn't matter, not on this course, you're right. Because you can just see everything when you jump in your lower field of the jump. Alright, All right, I'm going to miss these mud puddles for a first. Blue shell on its way to BAM, who's in first uh, currently here. And the red shell takes out his backup. He's down. Oh. Did the blue shell get you too? No, yeah, he's got hit by something. Uh, good. 
<laughs> in fourth place, third place. Getting quite a lead there, Bam. Yeah, I know. I'm really undoing everything I did in the first episode mm. by beating Bruce. <laughs> well, it balances out, right? Yeah, I am a karmic balance. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I did that. Now, I forgot what that item did, to be honest. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh. Now, this level no. is supposed to be no. randomly generated, but it... I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, I was going to say, I recognise some of these bits. And if it is, it's so similar to what it always is, it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Why am I doing this? Where are you going, Pete? <laughs> what am I was getting that about? red shells? I don't follow the rules, I do my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to take a shortcut. My strategy is get into seventh and then I get myself a sweet bullet bill. <laughs> Pull it back true. into third place, right at the end. I just love how many tricks you can do. Never seen Warrior's tricks, they're terrible. Final lap, bam, coming around the last band. Nothing can stop you now. Oh, uh, it's trying to curse me like that. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you're right. It's done. <laughs> but Pete, keeping it tight, like we like it, in second place! <laughs> so you guys are gonna edit this so it's like, you know, in the Amazing Race, where even though they're like 12 hours apart, it looks like they're only five seconds apart. <laughs> <laughs> I would Imagine appreciate it. How many days they're just standing on that mat going, yeah. oh my god, where is, <laughs> where is Wendy and Jeffrey far out? Are they dead? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. No. <laughs> not correct. I'm taking points off you. <laughs> After that, bam, you got 15 points for Bruce, putting him on 80 points. <sighs> I wish I could celebrate, but I was part of the world. You are part of the world, but never fear, the world is still ahead. Pete, keeping it close. 83 points! <laughs> Good job. I'm Good glad job. there was enough padding so that I could afford to lose and it'd still be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Phew. Second place. I'm glad about that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you must have some conflicting emotions that... I know, I know. I've, I owed it to Bruce, but I mean, the world has probably done more for me in the long run. <laughs> the entire planet has done more for you yeah. than Pete has. <laughs> and now before we close the doors on another episode and I hit the grind to edit this in time for broadcast, it's time for one last blast for points in the speed run. <laughs> I was actually waiting for the noise to happen in my I mind. I forget what the <laughs> noise was. was. <laughs> I was so drunk. <laughs> time is on the clock and it starts now, which well-known video game developer created the Ace Attorney franchise? Who? Capcom. It is Capcom. In Australia, which console was Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney released on? Who? Yes. And Yours. the previous? Why is there so many Phoenix the Wright DM. questions? <laughs> <laughs> How many cases is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney split into? <laughs> Bam. 18. That is not correct for the steal. Uh, five. It is five. <laughs> it is five. <laughs> what came first, the Ace Attorney manga series or the game? <laughs> manga. <laughs> You were wrong. Game. Ah. <laughs> what is the name of the main protagonist in Mega Man 2? Ah. Bam. Mega Man. He is Mega Man. He's known as Rocket Man in Japan. Isn't that interesting? That's not even true. Yeah, that's he's not true. <laughs> that's what I was say. He's known as Rock Man in Japan. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> in which century is Mega Man 2 set? Pete. 20 XDX? Is that true? I've got 21st century. True or false? Mega Man 2 is the best selling in a series. Wow. True. Yeah, it is true. Why wouldn't it be? That's How... why the questions are about Mega Man 2, not <laughs> Mega Man. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How many of Dr. Wily's robot masters are there? In one game? In Mega Man 2. Uh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> a point for each robot master. Wow. Scissor Man. No. Uh, uh, Metal Man, yes. Rose Man, Bubble Man, yep. Heat Man. Yep. Top, no, Crash Man, Quick Man and Flash Man. Great. Is that all of them? Uh, I think so. <laughs> True or false, Nintendo was founded in the 1800s. <laughs> false? No, it's true. It's absolutely true. What? It was 1889 a... they were established. As what? Well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what were Nintendo originally known for? Card games? Hanafuda playing cards yeah, is correct. You said you didn't know, but you did know. Ben oh, it again! <laughs> In which decade did Nintendo become a video game company? Uh, the 70s. It was the 70s. And what colours are the present day logo? Red and white. Red and white. And that's time. Oh my god, I was like one batch off being a tie. Almost. <laughs> Not really. It was close. It wasn't.
<laughs> points uh, at the end of that. Pete, 44 points. Bam! <laughs> Close enough for me to think it was a tie. 48 points. Bravo, bravo. Oh, look at this. Yeah, oh, that's the true first time that's happened. <laughs> yeah, Bruce. <laughs> and that's, shake my hand. <laughs> and that's our show for this week. Thank you, Pete, for joining us. Thank you very much for Be having sure me. Be sure to check out the Adelaide Nintendo Connection on Facebook uh, and get along to one of the, the meet and greets and play some Switch action in the Maya Center. Or 3 until, until they kick us out of there. Yeah, <laughs> um, thanks. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, yeah, actually. <laughs> thanks to Bear for subbing in for Brucey. Get well, Brucey. Like the relief teacher that you just like a little bit more. Just the, <laughs> the cool one who surfs and plays guitar. That was that happened to me. <laughs> Mine just put on videos. <laughs> life anecdote. But that makes classroom way more fun if you're just surfing and playing yeah, guitar. Yeah, I say in class. <laughs> We're gonna learn maths. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had Jack Black as a sub. <laughs> The BitPad is everywhere. Get the news and a mini game daily on facebook.com slash the BitPad. And you can support the show on patreon.com slash the BitPad and get the deluxe version of the show a few days early for just a buck. It's, it's great. And if you don't know what that's about, you need to give me a dollar online to see the behind the scenes. Wait, can you rhyme the ending now? Can I rhyme the ending? No. <laughs> can I have that back? You, you, right, you can have that back. That's all the time we have today. He wants us to rhyme, but that's not okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bam. Thanks. You've always got that. You're welcome. That oh. is... <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm so shit at that. Uh, so you can get it a few days early. And you know what they say, Pete? No, I don't. You best start believing in ghost stories. You're in one! <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> you know who you are. We'll see you on the internet. Bye-bye. <laughs>